We are at 40 fucking minutes of this whack ass episode. Nothing happened. Nothing's going to happen. What the fuck? Is this shit on until 10 30? It's on until 10 30. Okay, something better fucking happen. Because this shit getting to me. I'm getting all my. Ah, this shit. Fuck. Ah, I can't even fucking talk. gonna start it off what's going on world i am wesley from a connection tv the network the one channel on youtube where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences and i am here right after the damn reunion what with miss stephanie what's going on hey cut it cut it what's going on love hi pizza hada in this (laughs) (laughs) okay so before we jump into the reunion this this uh, particular reunion, which looks mighty crazy, by the way, um, it looks like it's gonna be a lot going on. I actually want to dig into um, the remainder of the season because we were actually able to talk a little bit more about the actual episodes that you were on. Yes! <laughs> so, did you watch your entire season? Let's ask that. Um, I did. I did. I was really excited. Even the episodes I wasn't and I was like, I want to see what really happened. <laughs> <laughs> and so were you um, at all shocked at the way you were edited or did you like the way that they portrayed you? Some things like audio wise were definitely kind of like cut. And I was like, mm, that, mm-mm. so other than that, I feel like it was pretty, pretty good. Give us Perfect. some big, give us some examples of the audio cuts. Okay, like when I was in the van complaining about the girls being boring. Later, they cut into the interview and made it look like I was directing it towards Adrian and Salome. I was talking about everybody, even Z. I was like, well, you're sick, I understand, but still, I'm bored. Like, everybody's being boring. Why do y'all want to leave? But at the same time, it's not like Adrian, Candy, Salome. It wasn't just one, it was everybody. Including production was pissing me off because sometimes they would give us, like, a curfew depending on how the venue looks or, like, whatever, whatever. Okay. All right. So, So I was like, I'm not about to press somebody because they want to go home. I know I am lit. I know I'm lit. (laughs) Not a lot of people can keep up with my turn up. I understand. So, it just wasn't something that I felt needed to go past that, like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I don't know, maybe... I've been through some shit, like, <laughs> I guess I would say that I have grown and mature to, I know some of the other girls would have been like, bitch, why the fuck we leaving? <laughs> but at the same time, everybody was trying to go. I thought initially it was production because I didn't know. I was literally sipping my Henny Colada, turning up with another table. They didn't even show that. And I didn't know what was happening. That's what I was like, well, are we leaving? Like, I really didn't know. And since nobody told me, at first I thought it was, like, production making and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So when we left off with our first interview, we were able to talk a little bit about Aladria and the whole situation that happened with the biting of the finger and all of that. Okay? So Aladria leaves, and you guys are possibly going to be getting new girls. Everybody in the house is not really feeling a new girl coming in. Nobody wants a new girl coming in. What is your actual vibe at this moment with new girls possibly coming to the house? Um, I really didn't have a say on it. I was kind of like, whatever, I just got here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, what, let's see what happens. But I wasn't, I didn't really have an expression towards it, honestly. I was like, hopefully it's somebody fun. That's always my thing. Hopefully it's somebody cool, somebody I can vibe with. I wasn't really thinking about it, I guess. Okay. Um, did you guys really have any communications with each other as far as you and Ryan? Because it seems like towards the tail end of it, before she actually decides to leave, she's really over the house. She doesn't want to be bothered with the house. Did you have any communications with her? Oh, uh, we had to talk a little bit, like that night that she was drinking and saying how like production keeps like kind of treating her like a child in a sense. And we're like, okay, we understand where you're coming from, like little things that you know we have to do and uh, rules that we have to follow. I understand 
we are grown women. We are, we're not used to this lifestyle, but at the same time, it's something we signed up for. You know what I'm saying? So I was yeah. like, but, da, 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 da. but it wasn't never like, I'm ready to go home. Da, 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 da. It was just like, yo, they're getting to me. They keep trying me. I don't like when they talk to me like a kid. That's as far as it went. Yeah. It seems like you and your best friend had a great time. How, how was it having her in the house? Oh, my God. First of all, she came at the best time. Can you, I'm sorry. My dog wants to go outside. Hold on one second. No, that's fine. We can pick up from there. Don't you? He's adorable. <laughs> um, if you are, I'm going to start that over. No, you can continue. Okay. So, um, I was, like, having the worst day that day. I was dealing with something back home. Literally, like, crying right before she came. It couldn't have been the, a perfect timing for me. And so I was like, oh, my God, thank you. Lord Jesus, you love me. Like, right on time. And I just love her. I adore her. That's my, she's like my sister. How, how long have you known each other? Like eight years. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So <laughs> you guys were able to turn up and have a good time. You went to the club. You partied. Did you feel like there was any tension at all at that moment or was every girl in the house really good to see like happy to see their best friend so everybody was getting along i i definitely think everybody was excited to see their friends um we were all shocked nobody knew nobody expected that this was something that was a surprise for all of us so i think we were all pretty pretty much in a great mood (laughs) quite unusual (laughs) (laughs) were you feeling was um was ryan the only one not feeling the yoga well, Ryan and Candy, because Ryan and Candy seemed like they were the ones not really feeling the yoga. But was they, were they the only ones? No. At one point, everybody was kind of complaining. Like, we were at the club the, the night before. Right. Like, drunk as shit. Right. Like, wasted. So everybody was kind of feeling that hangover thing. And, you know, that's my whole thing with this Bad Girls Club, any reality in general. It's TV. So they can cut and add things and make it look a certain way. They try, I feel like they try to make Adrian look like the Debbie Downer in that situation. And everybody was kind of not having it at one point. Like, Talon was like, oh my God, like, what is this? Da, 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 I don't know about Bo. Z was like tired. Candy didn't really care. Like, everybody at first was like hungover, like tired. It was early as shit to be doing this. We were up right. at like 7 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> we were up to like, just, oh, just 4 a.m. All right, girls. Let's go exercise. Right. Like hot, sandy beach. Hangover. <laughs> Who is going to be like their chipper, like, you know what I mean? So. Right. Makes sense. It seems like you guys had a lot of fun on the yacht, though. Y'all were turned up and partying. Initially, no. Initially, everybody, like I said, was kind of just like, oh, whatever. What is this? Da, 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 da. A lot of people, because what happened was they brought us to that restaurant. Uh, we were there probably like a good 30 minutes or so. We had all decided what we were going to eat, what drinks we were going to order. Da, 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 da. We were excited for lunch. And then the captain comes out. He's like, we're not having lunch here. We're having lunch on the yacht. And some of us were like, yeah. And then some of us were like, well, uh-uh, I want a clam. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So the girls leave. Your best friends leave. Um, is there anything that we didn't see before they left? Were there like anyone crying? Were people upset? Um, Bernicia and Adrian were a little sad. I don't remember if Adrian cried. I know Talone kind of got emotional about it, but they were really sad. I was yeah. like, oh, that sucks. But I was like, well, she'll be there when I get back, you know? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> right. Sad. right. So you girls get home and you meet Cabrina and Tierra. First of all, production tried it. Like, how? Because he, they knew damn well everybody was emotional. Well, some girls were emotional over the best friends going home. And then to just throw you girls, they were like, oh, pushing buttons. Like, they knew what they were doing. Okay, okay. Did anybody get saucy with the new girls? I, I see that, um, you know, Ryan went one way and Talon went upstairs. Yeah, I don't think they had said anything or acknowledged them. But um, they didn't, like, talk about them or, like, direct them. They just kind of was like, whatever, I'll deal with that later. They yeah. didn't have that. Yeah. Were there any um, off or weird vibes with the new girls when they came in the house? Or were you kind of like, open arms, girls, let's have fun, let's turn up? I was like, y'all better turn up, we're going to have fun. Even though Tiara was like, oh, I never drank. I was like, oh, my God, okay, well, we'll... You know what? Not everybody has to. It's not a thing. Like, you know what I mean? So I was like, let's see where Tiara 
is comfortable because at first yeah. I didn't know I didn't know any of these girls, so I had to get to know them, even though it was only such a short amount of time. Right. You really can bond with people and get to know them in certain lanes. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I'm not gonna know about their family history and stuff, but I'll know like Tiara doesn't talk about her businesses or her man in the sense to brag and I'm that bitch. She talks about it coming from someone who didn't have nothing and worked hard. Okay. You know, okay. things like that. So And that's how you always felt when she was talking that way. You didn't when when Z came in and was like, I don't really believe her, I think she's trying to boast or whatever the case may be. I was like, well, who would lie about I was like, why would she lie about that? Like she's you know, why she's obviously doing something because she's here with us. That's how I felt. I was like, so why would she even lie about that? That's, yeah. I was like, I don't know. I feel like y'all are tricking on her. Okay. How did you feel about the whole situation at the restaurant when um, they were I, grilling Tierra? <laughs> I was like, y'all are so mean girls right now. Like, petty. Like, don't do that to that girl. Like, give her a chance. It was literally, I think, her second night there that we went to dinner. Yeah, it was the second night. We had gone to the club the day before. <clears throat> so... I'm like, y'all just picking on her. Let this girl live. Like, how do you know? I mean, she has pictures of her boyfriend. She can't say, like, she hasn't lied thus far from what I can see. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I got the vibe that Cabrina and Tierra were, like, so, like, ready to be in the house. They were, like, cool. Everybody was, you know, trying to be, you know, they were trying to be cool with everybody, keep the peace. Um, but Ryan was really, really bitter towards the tail end. And we see this situation where... You know, production's having a uh, conversation with her, and she's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm leaving. Fuck y'all. I'm out. Can you explain anything that happened that we did not see on TV? Um, There was a lot of one-on-one -on -one instances, especially the night before, where, like, Adrian, she was really drunk, and she was, you know, reality TV, you're not supposed to be in a camera like this. Fuck y'all. I'm Nicholas Ryan. Like, you can't do that. So, <laughs> things like that, she was getting... Uh, reprimanded for and even though she's like y'all can't treat me like a child I'm grown correct but you did sign a contract and you know certain things have to be abided by so I feel like she wasn't really like tried but they were I think they were kind of like okay well she's drunk right now so let's put the camera in her face and make it look worse than what it actually is and she's like get the camera in my face I'm drunk I'm walling you know what I'm saying <laughs> She said, get the camera on my face. It's TV. That's, it's TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But the okay. camera's going to be in your face at your worst moments. Of course they are. Like, right, right. Okay, so. so she yells at production. She says, I'm leaving. She decides to go home. Talon breaks down, and she really, really cries. Like, really, really cries. Did yeah. you know that their relationship were that, that they were that close? I knew they were close. I did not know, like that extent of it honestly to me i just thought they were kind of like okay like how me i mean i don't think i would have cried if they left because i'd be like girl i'm gonna see you in a month <laughs> some people are different so i don't know like what kind of closeness emotionally they have or what but i wasn't expecting it i wasn't her, like for her to cry i was like oh yeah. kind of stuff like wow okay yeah it was it was it was yeah that was a lot um did you like cabrina's food be honest did you I think? did the Cabrina's food. I did. Cabrina All right. Stuff. So you ate the entire thing. I had leftovers in that thing. <laughs> you know I eat. You know I eat. Right. Right. <laughs> okay. So what can you tell us about the whole thing with um, Ms. Talone and Candy? Anything that we did not see on the show? Like, okay, so here's my question. Do you think all of that was worth it? No, I said it from the beginning. Y'all saw it. I said it. Red rum, red alert. Don't do it. Evacuate. I messed that. That was, no, they should not have done that because they were living together. Yeah. Being around someone for so long is going to make some kind of a feeling come out, whether it's emotional attachment. I like you. I fucks with you. We're friends. I hate you. I want to kill you. Right. That's going to come from that. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, um. Much. It was interesting in the beginning to see the little cat and mouse thing, but then you... It was, you... like, cute or whatever. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, it, it was bound to end up the way that it did. So we get to this crazy situation where they have a battle, you know, and they actually fight or whatever. And, you know, Candy says the one line about the kids. Now, the they, they pan and show you, like, the ladies, you and the, the rest of the ladies in the kitchen... 
And a lot of people were really mad at Z because they said that she was laughing at the comment. Um, what do you have to say about the whole situation about mentioning the kids? Um, like I said in the show, like that you don't do that ever. <laughs> I don't care if it's like <laughs> Donald Trump himself. Like you don't go and tell him to his face like your kids are like demons or like ugly ass little rugrats or whatever. You don't say that. You don't talk about people's kids. So I thought it was below the belt. You know, everybody knew it. And even Candace owned up to it. And she was like, I'm wrong. And, you know, we got to see some of that in the reunion today, honestly. Like, yeah. she really felt bad about it. She was like, you know what? I was thinking about it. Da, 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 da. Everybody knows better. You should know better. And even Candace, who committed the crime, owned up to it and knew better. All right. So how was your experience doing the uh, roasting? I thought that that was pretty, pretty fun. You had some real slick comebacks for the ladies, so that was cool. I think I think what happened was, like, my jokes came off as, like, statements. Because that's, like, what a roast is. Like, yeah. you're like, oh, like, I was like, oh, Candace, she shot in RuPaul's closet. Like, oh, she was like, Stephanie, your hair is so dry because of the spritz that the hairstylist used on you. And... It's just a delivery, but as somebody who loves comedy and, like, watch things like Saturday Night Live, Rose, like, I love it. So I guess I just kind of knew what I was doing. I was like, I got this. <laughs> Have you kept in contact with that guy at all? Has he uh, given you any advice? Have you exchanged any communication? I don't know. That day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you walked away learning some things, yes? Then what? You walked away learning some things about yourself with the with doing the roasting. Some things, yes, definitely. Okay. Um, some things I could like, you know, crack some perfect little more just little things that I realized, like, okay, okay, because I never done anything like that. Right. I do the skits, I do the impressions, you know, I do stuff like that, not stand up comedy and in a fucking room roasting people. Like that's <laughs> I've never done anything like that. But right. what was dope is like. You know, Tiara got to drink on TV for the first time. I got to do my first roast on TV for the first time. And as somebody who wants to do comedy and pursue that, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. So then let me ask you, what what is what what are your thoughts about this? Well, I've, there's been a few statements or comments regarding um, this particular season ending early because of Winter leaving the show. What do you have to say about that? What I think really happened, it's not about Winter, is that the season is based on social media personalities. We all have an ego. And especially in that industry, I know I wouldn't have come on for no, if they would have said, oh, we have two weeks of filming, that would have been two episodes, I would be like, no, I'm not going for two episodes. I wouldn't have done it. So I think there's a lot of people that thought that way and they just couldn't get the right girls at the right time. Got you, okay. That's what I think really happened. Okay. Do you think that the show was cheap for not sending y'all on a vacation? Y'all got y'all got all excited and thought y'all was about to get on a plane and go somewhere. I was like, really? We can't even go to Mexico. We can drive to Mexico <laughs> from where we fucking are. I was so mad. <laughs> they played y'all like it was they so. The shit out of us. I was yeah. like, damn, and at brunch, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was excited. Yeah, I was excited about that brunch. You don't understand. They didn't show this, but Candace. Kept our asses up till like 4.30 in the morning and she just wanted to talk to all of us. Like, we can't go to sleep. Yeah, I want to talk to them. We were just all like having girl talk like all morning long. I was like, we going to fucking brunch. We all going to brunch. And then the next morning, time to go to brunch. <laughs> right, right. It was pretty cool how you tried to keep everybody like lively and like excited and at least positive because after the situation. My ass was still drunk that morning. And I was <laughs> going. After the situation with um, Candy and Talone, which is kind of crazy. Did you did you think that Talon would leave? And like, did you have any communications with her before she left? Um, yeah, I got to talk to Talon and say, you know, a couple words like bye. And I was really like, wow, you're really gonna go? Like, but I understand where you're coming from because yeah. I said it. I was like, I can't imagine her like letting that go. At least not that like soon. And being in the same house as somebody like talking about my kids. I get offended when people talk about my dog. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. I can't imagine, like, my babies, my kids, like, I don't know if she, if she could have handled it. So I think she needed to go. Yeah. So, girl, we get to this reunion. We get to this reunion. 
And you come out the van, and what was what was what do females call what you have? Or what was that? A onesie? What what did you, what did you call that? Romper. A romper. <laughs> I'm like, you come out in that pink romper and some tennis shoes, ready to ready to ready to do what? Well, I like tennis shoes in general. That wasn't like we weren't gonna film right then and there. I had that on to have it on. <laughs> but my whole thing was like. I saw the first episode the day before we filmed the reunion. So all the stuff that happened between Kayla and Tabitha and Kaylee and all that, I didn't see until that day. And I was like, all right, I don't know these girls, but honestly, I never saw that side of Winter, that like evil, like, you know what I'm saying? Like really mean side of her. I've never seen that side of her. So I was kind of just ready. Like, well, nobody's going to jump nobody and definitely not Kaylee. Like, I got your back. And that's all that was. Nobody jumping nobody. <laughs> I was to go in there like vendetta against her, vendetta against her. Like I didn't go in there like targeting nobody. I was just like, if somebody tries to jump somebody, mainly Kaylee. Let's let's be real. I'm jumping it. All right. Uh, that, you know, I have to say that that yeah. was kind of that was kind of cool. Now to see you. In that light, because you know when you think about the bad girls club, you think about oh the girls got to fight, they got to fight, whatever. Right. You came and proved that you did not have to fight to be a I... bad girl to have a good time. But you will defend yourself, and you will definitely defend someone else if you think they're being bullied. So yes. that was really really cool to watch. I was dying laughing hysterically because I'm like this girl, she talking about she ready. Um, so explain that process. You get off, you get off the little van, you go. Did they have metal detectors for you? They had metal detectors, they had security, you know, we were all in different rooms, like, it was, like, me, Candace, V, Kaylee, uh, I think that was just us in one room, and then Cabrina, Tiara, we're in another room with Sway, I believe, Right. and then Tabitha, Kaylee, and Adrian, and Talon were in the other room. So, so they had to separate it for whatever reason. Right, you know, just to make it a little bit more dramatic. Okay. Right. <laughs> so... What was Kaylee saying about how she wanted to um, address Winter? Like, was is there anything that we missed in that that part that we saw where she was like, "Oh, I want to talk to Winter. I have some words for Winter." Yeah, Kaylee just kind of confronts her on how she felt about the situation in the house, like how you did bully me, pick on me because I was smaller, whatever, whatever. Um, you and your like, you know, friends, how with the your little gang gang thing, whatever. Um, other than that, I didn't really see any other side of it. Supposedly there was some stuff on Twitter being said. I don't recall that. I mean, who knows? Twitter's a lot to handle. <laughs> it can be, especially with females. They're going back and forth. So yeah. you and Miss Z have the ability to come out on stage first. Yeah. Look, looking very pretty. That's looking so very funny. pretty. <laughs> so... What was that experience like being on the reunion after after what is this the sixteenth season? Yeah. Now you're on Bad Girls Club reunion. What was that feel like? It was surreal, especially like meeting like the great Tanisha. Like I get on stage like that. Tanisha, <laughs> she is Bad Girls Club to me. Like her, Judy, Natalie. Like they are like some of the greats. So like to be like sitting next to her and she's like, show me some of like yes, I'm dreaming right now. That's how I felt. That's what's up. That's what's, that's that's really cool that you you guys definitely show love like that. Um, especially to Tanisha because she's been doing this for for forever now. Hey, she lost. You better, Tanisha. Yeah, yeah. She looks amazing. She looks really really good. Um, so watching your playback was quite funny. <laughs> you coming into the house. You being the person that you always are, and I think that was cool that Tanisha was able to touch up on that. And ask you about you. How was it like being yourself? Um, did it really feel that authentic, just being yourself on the show and not having to worry about trying to be anything else that you're not? I mean, I guess I'm a person that I really have never been one to be influenced. Like I've never been a like clicky person. Like I was never like part of the cool kids. I was never part of the cheerleaders. I was just like. I am me, who I fuck with, who I fuck with, whatever, who like likes me, cool. I've never cared about what people thought of me ever, honestly. In a sense. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be on TV like, oh, like super duper ratchet, like, I mean, great. You know what, I can't even talk shit because I was 
flashing people and twerking and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. So I guess I really don't give a shit what people think. <laughs> Like, well, did I care? And I'm like, I can't care. Right, right, right. But, you know, at the same time. Right, but in the sense of, like, professionalism, like, right. there's two, you know, you got to know when to turn it on and turn it off. Right. But right. it's still authentic. Yeah, and you and you definitely have that. Um, yeah. We saw on the reunion that you and Z said that you're friends. Does that remain to be the case today? Absolutely. I talk to Z often. We are still friends, you know. Um, I care about Z. I really, I got to bond with Z in the house. I know a lot of people are going to be like, baby, that bitch is fake. Z treated me a certain way and came at me a certain way and gave me a certain amount of respect that I'm not going to judge other people's opinions on her. Right. Okay. I'm not going to take what people say. And, oh, okay. Nobody likes Z. I guess I can't like Z. Right. Because your experience with her was the experience okay. that... I felt right. like it was authentic. I felt like she really opened up to me and really got to know me. So I I am friends with Z, and I'll probably say it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Now, I can definitely respect that. So I saw a Miss Stephanie Tejada arguing with someone. Oh, Lord Jesus. In the next episode of this reunion, and if I don't know if I heard it correctly, but... The word fake went your direction. Mm-hmm. So can you explain a little bit about what was that all about? What was going on? So basically, me and Winter were cool in the house. Kayla, whatever. We were cool in the house. <laughs> like, I didn't have an issue with her. I wouldn't say I was, like, close to her. I wouldn't say we were, like, besties. We were cool. And we had our moments, you know. We had fun together sometimes. We did this, whatever. I didn't know her like that. And there was something about her. I've said it. I told her since day one. I just, I don't know about you. Are you trying to get me lit? Why are you trying to get me lit? Because I'm the new girl. What are your, like, I don't know. Maybe it was that, but it just kind of like made me say, I got to watch you, you know? Yeah. That's always been my thing with her. I like you. You're cool, whatever. But I got to watch you. I don't know. And like I said before, the whole Kaylee versus Tabitha, Kayla situation, Tabitha Winter situation, whatever. I had that like that day. So for me to go ahead and be like, well, now I hate winter. That wasn't the case. It was just somebody tries to jump my dog, Kaylee, or anybody. I'm getting in. It wasn't like a personal vendetta against winter, but winter took it that way. And she was like, you're mad fake because you text me or whatever. I just find it flip floppy, I think she said, because I wore sneakers. And she was like, I think she said something like jump to jump me or to fight me and Tabitha. No, girl. I was never coming for you. I was never coming for Tabitha. I was never coming. It was never boom, boom, boom. It was never like a thing against anybody per se. But if y'all try some shit like you did in the house, then I was going to get in it because that's not fair. What's right is right. Oh, oh, all right. That's what's up. What did and you? Even in the house, they didn't show this, but I had an open conversation with Winter, where Winter was like, "You know what? I am wrong. I know what I did to that girl was wrong." And I told her, I was "Like, you know damn well, if somebody picked your ass up out of bed and flung you on some concrete steps. You would not have thought that was a funny joke, and you wouldn't have taken it lightly." Right. I was like, you know what you did to that girl was wrong. She was like, "I know. I'm sorry. I did do. I like. I realized I fucked up." They didn't show that. You know what I'm saying? But that was something that she told me. But then when I saw it, I was like, ooh, that's really low. I don't know. I'm just going to be ready for it. Right, right. But it was never anything against her or it was just, that's wrong. And maybe, you know, friend, whatever the title is, you got to know that's wrong. And as your friend, if I have to beat your ass because you're jumping jumping this girl, that's how I'm going to tell you as your friend, you fucked up. Oh, oh, all right. (laughs) <laughs> all right okay but it never got to that point like nobody jumped kaylee so but i don't regret being ready for it oh i know that's real that's i know what, that's real i call me fake because i wear sneakers why winter could change into some slides and nobody says nothing about that why adrian's shoes un- undone and ready to just kick off and nobody said nothing about that right Wearing sneakers on fake because I texted you before. And I feel like I texted that girl on some, hey, bestie, miss you. <laughs> hey, sister, how's your finger? 
uh, filming was cool. Meanwhile, I had texted all the girls after we filmed because I had some shirts that my friend was trying to send them. And I was like, do y'all want this? Like, let me know I can send the stuff out to you. Okay. All right. But there y'all have it now. There y'all have there it. There you have it. Let me ask you, though. Uh, <laughs> what, 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 what were your thoughts in watching it tonight and hearing Dream Doll say that Kaylee was playing the victim and she's not here for Kaylee to be playing the victim. And she was really, it seemed like when she was speaking to Erica Mena that she was really defending her actions. So how did you feel watching that? What's ironic is, you know, she was defending her actions to Erica, but then she apologized to Kaylee on stage. So, oh. Oh. If, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Oh, all right. All right. Okay. Well, there you, there you go. There you go. Oh. Do you think that um, Talon and Z, well, did, well, I, I won't ask that because I don't want to give that part away. Um, but who do you think grown, has grown the most because of this particular season and especially after the reunion? Has grown the most? The most. Um, I honestly feel like Z, because she really, and I'm not saying this because she's my friend, but there was a lot of times that Z was breaking down and she was like, oh, I'm so irritated. Like, they, there was a lot of times that girls were kind of, like, picking on her and doing little things like, like, I don't know. So I really feel like Z learned how to be stronger and choose her battles. And then I felt like Talone, like, she learned also kind of how to not choose her battles because she obviously wanted to be Candace's ass when she said that about her <laughs> Oh, Candy, why? But um, I guess Talone kind of learned how to be a bigger woman about certain situations. Like, all right, I see you. Bet. I'm going to leave the situation because I'm not about to put these hands on you and go to jail. Right. Like, she kind of knows now and she kind of grew in that sense. Like, how to look at the bigger picture of things. and. Right. Did you have any words for Ryan when she was trying to take Tanisha's spot on the show? No. I mean, I know I know Adrian does, like, radio hosting and whatever, but I was like, this, Tanisha got this. Like, this is this is Tanisha's stage, honestly. So if Tanisha is going to let Ryan sit on her chair, then that's Tanisha. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. Is there any moment that we haven't seen thus far where someone tries you or comes at you for anything? I don't want to spell, but all I'm going to say is tune into part two of the reunion. <laughs> and in that situation, I just felt like certain people, so I'm not going to spill all the tea, some people just don't like being wrong and being called out on their bullshit. And when somebody does it, they get very upset and emotional and aggressive. And... That's all that was. Oh, you mad because you're wrong? Uh oh. 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 All right. All right. That's this... not. <laughs> <laughs> um, when Candy comes out and they exchange, she exchanged words with Talon. I think that that was a cool moment for people to see. Oh, um, with the candy bags and stuff for the kids. Yeah, yeah. That was really nice when she was putting that together backstage. We were like, oh, good, Candy, because you know that was. Pretty bad. She knows. I really think Candace really uh, realized how wrong that was. And I honestly think she's remorseful for it. <clears throat> yeah. She's my voice. I'm getting over a cold. No, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> and you look good. So is there anything that you want people to know that they don't know? Um, yeah, before episode two comes out. Um... No, I mean, I think I covered everything. Like I said, I've been me since day one, even in the reunion. Like, I'm just a strong, independent person, and I believe in myself enough to not care what other people think of me. I don't know, that's real. Is there anything that you want to promote? Anything that's coming up? Yes, my finale party. If you're in Orlando or the surrounding area and would like to come meet and party with yours truly. Uh-oh. For 14th finale party, Guild Nightclub. It's going to be lit. Red carpet. We got the Shrimp Man coming through. We got Dog Man Entertainment. And then January 28th, I'm dancing for uh, Rick Ross. No, 29th is Rick Ross. I'm dancing for the Rick Ross show here in Orlando. Okay. And then the 28th, I'm hosting at the Abbey Gay Club. All right. All right. You better get it. My website, www.sabitops.com, and you'll see everything. Girl, we got a party together now. Yes, 
guys, come to the finale. Come to the Abbey. You can come see Rick Ross. I'll be dancing on stage. Right? Oh, 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 oh. Get it, get it, hey. Let me clarify this, because I guess people are confused. I know I'm ratchet. I'll be twerking and dancing, crazy doing splits. But I'm a go-go dancer, not a stripper. What's and the I difference? Just... Explain the difference. Explain the difference. Strippers take clothes off. You can touch them. They rub on you, stuff like that. Very sexy. Doing pole tricks, stuff like that. I do arms, artsy, pretty, little hip hop, jazz, whatever you want to call it, and I do choreography. So nobody can touch me. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's getting a lap dance from me. There's no private dances, nothing like that. We have security. Like, don't even touch me. So, <laughs> don't take nothing off. We be in little costumes, little themes and stuff. Bur- Think of like the movie Burlesque. Right, right, yeah. Stuff like that. All right. Well, y'all heard it here right after the motherfucking reunion. Yes. Yes. Team Tahada. Stephanie Tahada. I can't wait to see you next week, love, because I got to make it to this party thing now. Uh, Yes, you have to, honestly. You have to come. It's going to be it's going to be hot. Now I got to find me something to wear. It got to be cute, you know. All right. (laughs) <laughs> I'll you my number. Yes, we need to do that. Cause you know what? I've never, I've never had like a stylist like style me. Yeah. I'm so new to this whole like celebrity right. like, style. Like, right. my manager was like, I got you a makeup artist. She done this person makeup. This. I was like, oh, do I gotta get makeup done again? She's like, yes. Da, 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 da. I'm like, okay, all right. This is my life now. I gotta, be, I gotta stay fabulous. It's fine. Right. I can live with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait for part two. And I can't wait to see you next week at this um party that you're throwing. Finale. Finale party. I think that's going to be real hot, real lit. Um, So definitely, guys, if y'all are in the Orlando area, definitely come out for that. Because I'm going to make sure my black ass is there. Um, And I might just bring my camera. Who knows? <laughs> we got to turn up. Well, I want to thank you so much for doing this little impromptu interview, love. If y'all have any questions for Miss Stephanie Tejada, can you let them know how to get in contact with you? Go to my website, www.stephanietejada.com. You can find me on Snapchat, Team Tejada. All my social media is on my website. All right. There you have it, y'all. Explain to the people that weren't able to understand your history with your sister, if you can give us a little brief synopsis of how you came to meet and how that all worked out for the show. Okay, yeah, I met Asia when I was about 15. I was about to turn seven. I, I was trying to hurt. I, all I did was, I came, I didn't want to do nothing. I was so hungry. I came, there was everything else. Right, I didn't want to do nothing. I was so hungry. I came, there was everything else. I didn't want to do nothing. I was so hungry. I came, there was everything else. I didn't want to do nothing. I was so hungry. I came, there was everything else. I didn't want to do nothing. I